What if we really just said, look, Across the board, we're going to cut one or two, whatever it is, a couple of percent, one or two percent. This, by the way, is what businesses have to do. This, by the way, is what your household had to do when Biden inflation drove the price of gasoline through the ceiling. When other, well, when inflation drove the cost of food to astronomical amounts, you had to do the same thing. You had to cut budgets. You had to cut areas that you didn't want to. So maybe there were some you couldn't cut. Maybe you couldn't find a way to cut your uh, you know, utility bill. But some of you might have turned the heat down a degree. I don't know. These are things people have to do, right? These are things that people have to do. Maybe you cut Netflix, right? Maybe you don't take certain trips. Maybe you travel less to save on gas. I mean, there's a number of ways to do this. This is what average people and average companies Heck, even average states are forced to do all the time. The federal government should do that. People are in agreement with this stuff, but yet nothing happens for a whole myriad of reasons. And they all go back to the seven pillars of propaganda. These folks that are dividing people, trying to divide and conquer, mislead, deceive, amplify the voices that there's fewer, but they're more radical and they are in agreement with the folks that are leading the seven pillars of propaganda, these leftist voices, these lovers of big government. They amplify those voices. They silence voices like yours, like mine. They don't like truth. They operate in the darkness. They have an excuse for every reason why they can't do the blatantly obvious thing, but yet they tell us that they can lower the sea levels in 50 to 100 years. Enough. Enough of the nonsense. The average American knows this. I'm telling you, and you know this.